Hi, welcome to the BCCSA's tutorial on how to use the core audit document. In this tutorial, we'll show you where to find the document on the BCCSA website, and then some basic navigation techniques, and also how to input information into the document. Let's get started. Before we begin, make sure you have Microsoft Excel installed on your computer. You won't be able to access or open this document if you don't. You can have it installed on either a Windows or Mac computer, it doesn't matter. The document looks the same and works with both platforms. First, open your internet browser of choice and go to the search bar. We have to get to the BCCSA website first. Type in bccsa.ca and then head to the website. Once you arrive at the BCCSA website, this is what it should look like. Go to the Certificate of Recognition button on the left side of the ribbon on the website. Hover your mouse over it and it should drop down this menu. Once you see this menu, go down to Core Audit Documents. Then once you get to this page, simply scroll down and click on the Core OHS National Audit Document. Once you click on this, it should start downloading it or prompt you to download it. Once you've downloaded your document, just go to your Downloads file and then open it. Before you can start navigating and inputting information into the audit document, you might have to enable content. To do this on Windows, simply click the Enable Editing button that is in the red circle on front of your screen right now. If you're using a Mac, this window will pop up when you open the document. Click Enable Macros. That's the bottom button right in front of you. You'll have to do this in order to use the document. First, let's start with navigation. To navigate this document, use your mouse to scroll up and down. The main way to navigate the various parts of the core audit document is the tabs. Essentially, you click on the tabs at the bottom of your screen, if you can see me clicking there, to go to each one. If you notice here on the right side of the screen, you can't see all the tabs. In order to reveal them, click the arrows on the bottom left hand of the screen. That'll show all of the tabs and you can just keep going through and cycle through all of them. And then once you need, to, if you need to go back, you can just cycle back. You can also scroll up and down to access different parts of the page. Sometimes pages are longer than others, so it will require you to navigate and scroll in order to access different information and different areas to which you're going to fill things in. You can also navigate side to side in the document. Simply click the bar at the bottom and then drag it to do so. Excel also gives you the ability to zoom in and out. So for example, if you zoom too far out and you can't see what's written there, click the bar at the bottom right hand of your screen to adjust the magnification. For whatever reason, sometimes the zoom function does not appear. If it doesn't, just click the gray space where it would be and it should pop up for you. In order to enter text into the cells, all you have to do is click on the cell and then start typing. Sometimes they require you to select from a drop down menu. If I click this, I can deselect what I've chosen if I've chosen the wrong item or I select the X if that's what I'm looking to do. In the elements, in other words, the tabs that say E1, E2, E3, etc. Just click on the box and start typing anything in there when you want to insert text. There are also drop down menus within the elements. So all you do is click the drop down menu and then you can make the selection. You want to start typing on a new line. When you're in one of the elements, specifically in the cell, in Windows, all you have to do is hold Alt and then press Enter. On a Mac, hold Control and press Return. And you'll go down to the next line. Sometimes when you're entering information into the cells and the elements, the boxes might be too small. So you can see in this case, I've only got one line of text here, but I've actually entered in two. To do this, you have to change the size of the box. So if we go over to the left-hand side here, underneath each number, 
So that's basically underneath the cell or underneath the dividing line between 1.1 and 1.2. I put my cursor here and I see this symbol. I can then click and then drag down. That increases the box size. So now I can see both lines of text that I've inputted. You might have to do this a few times or quite often in each box if you're typing a lot. Some people like to use the formula bar to also enter text into a cell. So to do this, first you need to just click on the cell, and then you can go up to the formula bar and start entering in the text. If you need to expand the size of the formula bar, just hover your mouse over here until this icon appears, and then drag down. That way you can see all the text that you're entering in into the element. Make sure that when you're auditing, you're saving your work frequently. That way you don't lose anything if your computer runs out of battery or if you shut it off. It might be handy to save this on a cloud system, so iCloud or Microsoft OneDrive, for example. That way, if your computer is stolen or your hard drive breaks or something like that, you won't lose all your work. With that being said, this concludes the basic introduction on utilizing the core audit document. If you have any questions about your audit, please contact the training department at training at bccsa.ca. Alternatively, you can also contact your regional safety advisor. Thanks for watching this video. Good luck with your auditing and take care. Bye-bye.